Okay, 2-1. Okay, let's go. So in a city of 3.5 million people, an extremely contagious virus was starting to spread. Hmm, sounds uh, familiar, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so the virus originally arrived to the city through eight travelers who contacted the virus on a business trip. If the virus has a 7.7% rate of spread per day, so basically that means it is growing at 7.7% every single day. So more and more people are going to be con contracting it. Then how many weeks would it take for the entire city to be infected if no intervention would take place? So if nothing takes place, how long would it take? So this is a great example to walk yourself through. So one of the first things that you have to be able to relate to here is you kind of have to figure out that this is really just um, an exponential growth problem. So now exponential growth, oftentimes, for example, in business is associated with, you know, interest rates. So either for investing or for um, borrowing money, um, but it's very applicable to, in this case, uh, virus spreading. Now the general equation, so I'm going to write down all our givens here and I'm going to talk about the general equation for exponential growth. So the exponential growth equation um, basically means that you have some amount, okay, final, so whatever uh, the final answer is. Now you can think of this as this is as y as your output, which typically in math is designated as that, but some amount final, which is equal to whatever you start with, okay, and then that is whatever you're starting with is now basically compounded. So it grows exponentially at some rate, r, so that's why it's one plus r. Now this one plus r means whatever you're starting with, which is 100%, plus whatever your rate is, and then, so here's your rate as a percent. And now here it's saying that every single day it's growing at 7.7%, right? So day one, you know, would have been 100% plus 7.7%. Day two is, you know, your day one's amount. Again, now, okay, you're gonna add another 7.7% and so on and so on. So that's why this is an exponential growth because this is going to be to the N, right? And where N just means the number of days. So in terms of, math, so sometimes this might be designated as this, where your input is your x, all right? So that is an exponential growth because of this plus that you have. So now, what do they give us in this question? Well, it says there's a city of three and a half million people. And then, you know, there's some business travelers. There's really just eight business travelers. So really, we just started with eight people that had a virus. And then those eight people, okay, started to spread it to others. And now it says that they started to spread it at this particular rate. Now this is per day. So whatever amount we get will be per day. Now it says, how long would it take basically to infect the entire place? Well, so that means if it's gonna infect the entire place, then three and a half million people are gonna be infected. So that would have been your final amount. So this is what we have right here, all right? So if we substitute all of this into our equation, so I'm gonna have three and a half thousand people. I started just with eight, so this was puny, nothing really. But then it just started to compound, it started to grow exponentially on me like this. And that N is basically, okay, so the number of days that it will take. I mean, so it's not gonna be instant, um, but you might be surprised. It might be a lot faster than you think. So now we have to solve this for this N in order to see how many days it will take. Now, I don't know if they ask for days. No, they say weeks, all right? So we're gonna convert the days into weeks after, right? Because there's seven days in a week, so that's not bad. So isolating this, I'm gonna divide by eight on both sides. So I'm gonna just solve this out. And then here I'm going to get 1.077n, all right, and this is 3.5, whatever that number might be. So now we're just solving for n. So this is really just nothing else but 
we can use log to find our exponent. All right, so I'm going to say n, n equals, all right, so that is log of your answer. So you can take log of both sides, and this is going to be 3, 5, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we've got to be careful with the zeros there. Then divided by log of 1.077. So let's see how many days it took. So log, so 3.5 million. One, two, three, divided by eight. And then divide this by 1.077, which is really how fast it's spreading. So it's not spreading too quickly, okay? But, but take a look, okay? So this is, you know, approximately, so N equals, so 175.10 and so on, dots there. That's how many days it would take. So that's actually not that many days to infect three and a half million people. So that's interesting. So now if you wanted to change this into weeks, so you would take this number and then just divide it by seven because there's seven days for every single week. So if I take this number, since I already have it there, divided by seven. So that's just 25 weeks. So that's not very much. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just a few months. So it's crazy how quickly these viruses can spread if nothing really just happens. And that's why um, sometimes authorities and health authorities worry, right? Because if it starts to spread too quickly, okay, then, you know, there's a big worry uh, because viruses typically spread on an exponential if nothing actually is being done about it. So this would have been so approximately 25 weeks. I don't know if they said round, round your answer to the one. Okay, so to the one, so there you go. So that's to the one. So 25 weeks it would take for this one. Now to end this question, I actually just wanna show you because, you know, so this, this is the answer, but here is what is actually happening on a day by day basis here. All right, so if I take this equation, so I'm gonna graph it, um, let's hear. Let's graph this out. So this is y equals, so we started with eight people and we had one plus, so it is spreading at seven, um, 0.7%. So this is gonna be to the n, all right? And so now let's kind of um, graph this. Now, of course, this is in days. So we gotta put some restrictions here. So this is day zero. Right, okay, so n day zero. So I'm gonna put that, okay, so this is gonna be starting off. So notice what happens here. So it, originally it's not bad. Like, I mean, look, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Look what happens here. So I'm looking at the number 50 there. Um, so 50 just means how many people got infected. So we started with, with, um, with eight here, eight people. And then, so you notice that, so the bottom is really the days, right? So this is, so this is kind of how it goes. So this is the days that it's spreading. Five days, nothing, just a few. 10 days, again, nothing. 15 days, still nothing. 20 days, um, you know, 25 days, it's still around just 50 or something. But look what happens after that. So look, 30 days. Well, now we're getting into some around 75 or something, okay? 35 days, 40 days, okay? And notice what happens, how then it just blows up, right? From, you know, 40 onwards, it's just a skyrocketing, okay? And remember, this was three and a half million people. So, you know, look, 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 it's just a straight up, and that's what happens. So in the beginning, like, look, it looks very, Okay, nothing's happening, but it just skyrockets straight, straight up for us. That's insane, but that's exponential growth for you, right? Okay, so for exponential growth in terms of viruses, terrible. For your investing, like if you ever invested, it's beautiful. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about the investing side. You can look on my channel if you wanted to uh, see some business math. 
take a look at compound interest, <laughs> for example. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, we'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.